Some of the biggest names in baseball history made their way through the Negro Leagues, and several of those teams were founded right here in Nashville. As we tip our caps to the 100 year anniversary of the National Negro Leagues, News Channel 5's Levi Ismail has the story of how one woman hopes to keep that legacy alive. I'm standing at a street named after one of Negro League's finest, and it just goes to show the deep roots that the league had here in Nashville. But for Dr. Harriet Hamilton, those roots lead all the way back to her family tree. Statistics, pictures. When you see it for yourself. These are old, very, very old pictures. You would think we were taking a trip through time. In so many ways, we are. This is a picture of the team in 1939. But what surprises most people is knowing there was ever a time Harriet Hamilton. How neat is this? Knew little about the history behind the man in this cap. One of the articles, articles say Kimbrough hot at bat. I thought, well, who are we talking about? Uh, it can't be my dad. Never said anything about it. Did I mention she also goes by Harriet Kimbrough Hamilton? So the man history books know as Henry Kimbrough, well, she just calls dad. Rarely did I see a picture with him smiling. And so he had to be really loving this. And that love took him to places like Cuba. My mother's from Cuba. And so he was courting her. Which could explain the smile, but between 1937 to 1950, Kimmy, as he was known, played for National Negro League teams across the U.S., Birmingham, Washington, and the Baltimore Elite Giants, founded right here in Nashville. We have deep ties, deep roots in baseball, just not Negro League baseball, but baseball in general. In Harriet's hands, you can see decades of segregation that helped create a league of their own, 100 years later, and that legacy continues to live on, passed on by Harriet's mother after Henry died. She just didn't give it to me. She said, do something with it. And I'm thinking, what do you want me to do? <laughs> uh, give me a little bit more guidance. She said, you'll know. You will know. Harriet began calling all the players who may have known her dad. But before long, the book began to write itself a memoir for the man she thought she knew and those who history should never forget. On the final page, his last wave to the fans in Baltimore. And I felt that uh, it had come full circle and I was there and my son was there, which was very, very important for him to see this, to know that his grandfather was part of something very, very special. Levi Ismail, News Channel 5. Levi, thank you. The names of 16 Negro League pioneers who made their homes in Nashville are now commemorated with a plaque at Belmont University's E.S. Rose Park.